hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so till now as you guys remembered that we have successfully allowed the user to create new account okay to basically authenticate we basically uh, successfully authenticate the user using firebase authentication and also we allow the user to sign in into their account by using our social networking app okay i mean inside our social networking app which we call poster okay now in this video tutorial we have to add the last validation okay that is when the user uh, basically create account then we have to uh, send the user to the setup activity okay and also when the user login then first we have basically to check some validation for the login and for the for the register activity okay that is on the main activity we will add uh, a validation just to check the user existence in the firebase database okay so in this way we will complete the two-step verification that is now you can see that the user is authenticated okay but if i go to the database then there is no user exist of this i mean this is just the user authentication but no record is present on our real-time database okay so the we will basically check the user existence okay if the user record exists in the firebase database then we will directly send the user to the main activity but if the user is authenticated and his 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 or her record is not exist in the firebase real time database then we will send the user to the setup activity and from there he will provide his profile picture his username and his full name his country and then we will allow the user to sign in into this social networking app okay so in this way we will complete our two-step verification so let's go to our android studio and let's start working on it okay so close this login activity and this okay now let's go to the main activity and whenever our app start running okay here above inside this on start method as you remembered here we check basically the user firebase user existence or you can say the current user existence that if that is if the current user is not authenticated then we send the user to the login activity instead of uh, the main activity we do not allow the users to stay on the main activity or you can say on the home activity okay now the next thing is to check for the user I mean that is either the user exists in the firebase database or not so for doing that we will say else and inside this else we will simply create a method and we will call that method here and the name of that method will be check user existence okay this method will basically check the user existence that is let's say the user is authenticated as i explained earlier but his data or you can say his record is not available in the firebase real time database so we have to check the user existence first then we will allow the user to stay on the main activity or in or otherwise we will send the user to the set of activity to provide his personal information that is the username the full name and the country so let's create this method and our method check user existence is created successfully okay so now here we can simply say inside this check user existence method all we need is to get the user id okay so first we will get the user id so we can create a string type variable of final okay final string and let's call it uh, user underscore id or you can say the current user id that is the user who will be online okay so there is a difference between the firebase user which we created earlier and in this current user id okay this is the id and the earlier which we created was the firebase user okay so this is the id of that user who will be online and who will be trying to log in into this uh, social networking app or he will be trying to create an account here okay so we have to check the user existence first so we can say final string current user id equals to am auth dot get current user dot get uid and then we can uh, create a reference to our firebase database to the real-time database which is this one okay 
to the root. I mean here we will be creating users in the upcoming tutorials where we will create a parent node users under that parent node users we will store all the users who will be creating account okay by their unique ID which is this one okay this will be unique for every user as you know that okay so here we can uh, simply create a reference first to the firebase database just to check the user existence in our firebase real time database so here we can say private database reference database reference and let's call it users ref okay which means user reference and now inside our on create method so here we can say user ref equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference remove this colon i don't know it is by mistake okay so you can say firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and the child will be the users node under which we will be storing the users information okay for every user there will be unique user id and then we will store the user information under that node so we have to check inside the real time database by using this user reference that either the user exists or not in the firebase database so here inside our check user existence now we can say user ref dot add value event, sorry add value event listener add value event listener new value event listener and you can see that this is created i mean the on data change and on cancel method is created alongside with the value event listener make sure to put a semicolon here first and now inside this on data change we can say if not data snapshot dot has child which is uh, we store the child which is this one okay that is if this unique current user ID that is you can see that every user will have their unique user ID that is if this user ID not exist in the firebase real-time database then what we gonna do so here we will pass first this current user ID that is if this not exist then we can say we are basically this first let me tell you that this best this will basically means that the user is authenticated but his record is not present in the firebase real time database so we have to send the user to the firebase setup uh, to sorry to the setup activity okay i mean his record is not present in the firebase real time database so it means we have to send the user to the setup activity from there he will provide his information like profile picture name and username and then we will allow the user uh, i mean in this way the user will complete this two step verification so here we can create a method uh, for sending the user to the setup activity so we can say send user to setup activity that's it now let's create this method which in which we will send the user to the setup activity so you can see that our uh, send user to setup activity is created i mean the method is created successfully and now inside this method we can say intent let's copy this intent for the send user to login activity and we will change it for the setup activity okay for the time saving so you can simply pass that code here so instead of calling it login intent we can call it setup intent okay and you can copy this setup intent control c and instead of login intent pass that setup intent okay and then we can say we are on the main activity and we want to send the user to the setup activity so we can say setup activity and the rest code will be the same okay so in this way we will send the user to the setup activity if has record not exist in the firebase real-time database so this is the most important validations of our this social networking app so now if i run the app and let's check if it is working or not so our app is running now and you can see that we are on the login activity let me log in from here and now let's click on the login button so it says 
please wait okay and now you will see that instead of sending us to the main activity it will check the validation okay that is the user is authenticated but his record is not present in the firebase database so it will send us to the setup activity instead of sending us to the main activity so you can see that it successfully send us to the setup activity okay so now everything is fine okay i mean we have successfully completed all the validations for our this social networking app okay so yeah this is really nice and one important thing is just to add one more validation on the login activity and the register activity so let's close this okay and let me tell you that this validation is basically the most important validation for our this social networking app okay so now our app is secure okay so now let's go to the login activity and here after this uh, on create method we have to create another method for checking i mean this is also a validation which is for the let's create this on start method here okay which will basically check that is if the user is already logged in then let's say if the user is on the login activity then instead we will send the user directly to the main activity if the user is already logged in into his account there will be no need to provide his email and password again and again if the user is already logged in okay so yeah let's do that so instead of writing the code we will just uh, go to the main activity and from there you can see that we have this uh, firebase user okay and on dot get current user and then we check this if the current user equals to null so all we have to copy this code from here control c okay just this code and now let's go to our login activity and now here we can paste that code on our login activity and here we are just checking that is if the current user is not null that is if the user is already logged in then we are going to send the user to the main activity okay and we have already let's remove this and we have already created this method on our login activity so send user to main activity if the user is already logged in then we will send the user to the main activity and also we have to add this validation on our register activity so go to the register activity and come here above after this on create method we can simply uh, create a method and we can call it on start okay and inside this on start method we can simply do the same we can write the same code which we write on the login activity so you can simply copy this firebase user from here and let's go to the register activity and pass that code here so it means that is if the user is already logged in then i mean if the user already registered then we will send the user to the main activity okay so yeah this uh, now we have to create this method on our register activity on our register activity this method is not exist so for the time saving let's go to the login activity and let's copy the code of send user to main activity method let's copy this method control c let's go come back to the register activity and now we can uh, paste that uh, method here okay so we can simply paste that method here okay so in this way we are going to send the user to the main activity if the user has uh, i mean if the user is already registered okay so the one thing uh, which we will be doing that is we are on the register activity so you can say register activity dot this and we will send the user to the main activity and the rest code will be the same okay so yeah that's it so in this way we have uh, successfully added all the validations on our this social networking app so our app is now more secure and more uh, nice i mean okay so yeah we are now on our uh, on our setup activity okay now if the user create a new account then uh, first we will send the i mean the user will be first we will redirect the user to go to the setup activity now the user will first provide his profile picture name full name country once i mean this is basically the second step for the verification to create a new account and if the user let's say by mistake let's say uh, a user uh, authenticate okay and he closed the app 
and then again he run the app then he has to uh, provide his name his email and password on the login page and once he click on the login then it will go to the main activity but the user it will check i mean the validation will apply to it that is if the user is not exist in the firebase real time database then we will not allow the user to stay on the main activity within one second we will send the user back to this uh, setup activity once he provide his profile picture username full name country then the two step verification will be completed and then a user will be allow uh, we will allow the user to enter into this app okay to use this app so yeah this is it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel press the bell icon thumbs up for this video and let us know in the comment section below if you have any confusion and don't forget to uh, sub to like our facebook page okay which is by this address so yeah this is it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now